we are back in the Frankie Rollins kitchen with Charles Brown, and you hear that sizzle. Mm -hmm. So we got our fillet started yes, in the cast iron skillet. Yeah, so what have you done so far? Well, I just basically got the skillet, you know, medium, medium to high heat hot. Um, I've just got the butter melted, and I've just been searing it on this one side. I put a little bit of fresh basil in there. Okay. Just to help, just to add some flavor. I'm a big basil fan. I love basil uh, too. So I always try to add, you know, some sort of fresh flavor just to keep it nice and light. Mm -hmm. And then right now what I'm doing, I'm just kind of butter basting the steak just because it's going to keep help cooking it from the top side and the bottom. Uh -huh. You know, traditionally, especially in our grill, you know, it's almost cooking from both sides. Right. So it's just going to help speed up the process and really introduce all that butter fat flavor into the filet. Yeah, oh, man, yes. Filet tends to be so so lean, it kind of needs some help. That's why you'll see a lot of times filets will have a different sauce accompanying with them or something okay. whereas a ribeye or a strip can almost stand on its own. Right. Mm -hmm. Just because it has all that marbling and that's where right. all the flavor is with the with the steak. Right. So we're just going to keep it. Now when you cook it, what what do you think is best, like medium rare? Um, personally, for me, I like medium rare. Yes. Um, yes. I, I find, generally as a public, I think medium is where I generally recommend people to go. Just mm -hmm. because, especially with the fattier cuts, it gives, it gives the steak some time for, for the marble to break down. Okay. And again, that's just where all the flavor is, and you're not going to be chewing on bubble gum. If, oh, right. if you know yes. what I mean. Right, yeah. Where you get that, you know, you cut into a ribeye and you get that one vein that's in there. You're like, oh, this is just. <laughs> yeah. So that's where, you know, you give it the higher the temperature, the more time that meat is going to be able to break down. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay, we've just, you know, been cooking this for a couple minutes now. Is it about done? It is coming real close. Okay. okay. You know, how do you I'm, know? Yeah, how do you know? That's well, my biggest question. A lot of it for me, it's just been it's been a timing thing. I've uh, been doing this a right, little right, while, right, right. but you can always. I mean, you can do the temp test. Yeah. You know where you're feeling it, and it's all. Uh, it's just in the tenderness right. of of the steak itself. Mm -hmm. You do the finger test. Or right. you can always you can always get a thermometer. You know that's honestly the the best way. It's the only true way that you're going to be able to tell. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know the temperature of it, and you can you can. There's all sorts of information where you can find out where the temperature is that you like it. You know, medium rare is at 135. It generally goes up five to seven degrees for each temperature. So medium would be 140 okay. and so up and so okay. on. To where you finish 160 would be well done. Well done. Okay. And wow, look at these cuts of meat. I mean, these are just gorgeous. I mean, would you do the same thing with like a ribeye in the skillet, just butter and? Yeah, absolutely. Herbs? And really, you know, really. The ribeye and the skillet will probably be one of the most flavorful again, just because okay. you have all of the, uh, you know, all of the all the fat of the steak being able to break down. Oh, look at that! Wow, that is gorgeous. And again, we want to mention the two can dine for ninety nine. You have a whole menu, and I heard you guys talking three courses. Three courses. That's amazing. I love it. Yes. And beautiful yeah. menu there. All right, let's go ahead. I think and we'll be ready to roll. All right. So as you plate that. Um, we'll mention that you can uh, get this and all sorts of wonderful meats at Frankie Rollins. Mm -hmm. You just give them a call or go online on their website and be sure to check it out. Thank you so much, Charles. Absolutely. I can't wait to. And I know. I'm the most important thing is you always want to let your meat rest. Okay. We don't really have a whole lot of time to do that right now. But, but at home, you always want to give yourself some time. Let it rest. Well, we have yeah, about we, we can we can, we can let okay. it rest. We do okay, have time. Good. We'll come back and we'll That's cut right. into it. Yeah.